Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today we're going to crochet together this sweet little pup named Domino. He's about 7 inches tall when made in worsted weight yarn and he's a very cuddly amigurumi. Before we get started, I just want to mention that this is a beginner friendly pattern and a beginner friendly video, meaning there's a lot of counting and crocheting together. If you'd like to fast forward certain parts of the video, I'll put in the description box below how you can do that. Second thing I want to mention is Domino has a felt or fabric muzzle and eye patch. I do not have a crocheted eye or muzzle option for him, and that's definitely been a question that I've gotten in the past, so I just wanted to address that here first. I do, however, have a pattern called Dash the Dog, which I will link below, and he has a crocheted muzzle and eye patch, and he's just a bit smaller than Domino, so you can check him out. Okay, now moving on to the fun stuff. If you know me, you know that I am a sucker for adorable printables, and I had to show you probably the most adorable printable I've ever seen, and it's called the Amigurumi Adoption Kit, and it's designed by Elise from Le Petit Saint Crochet. Her adoption kit includes a checklist, a certificate of adoption, and a keepsake letter that's, it's like just a totally adorable for gifting, and it's so, meaningful i just I, I love it i'm just a sucker for it and these adorable gift tags that you can place on your amigurumi this particular version is called bright rainbow but she has seven separate designs that you can choose from or you can get the bundle that includes them all i am going to link all of elisa's info down below including her shop her website and you have to check out her youtube channel she is just the funniest most relatable person and i just love her i think she's the bee's knees and she knows that so check those out and now we're going to move on to the eye and muzzle for domino really quick i just wanted to mention the muzzle and the eye patch for domino you can go in the description box below to my free pattern and there is a link that you can download and print the template you'll just cut out the black pieces and then you can trace or cut those out onto your felt pieces this is in my pdf pattern which will be on page four and you can get that as well but i will put in my description box below the link to my free pattern so you can grab that before you get started for supplies you can grab some worsted weight yarn here i have i love this cotton by hobby lobby it's one of my favorites for my original pattern i had used lily sugar and cream so really any cotton yarn that you like to use you can use just use worsted weight also grab some fabric glue i really love aileen's tacky glue we'll be using that for the muzzle we have an e three and a half millimeter crochet hook a yarn needle and then here I have embroidery floss and an embroidery needle. You can just choose whatever color you want to do for the eye patch. Then you'll have your cutout template that I talked about in the beginning. You can grab that uh, printable pattern in the description box below. And then you'll need some sort of fabric or felt that you'll want to use for the eye patch in the muzzle. This is a fleece material that I got from Joann's. And then here is a wool felt that I got from Benzie's Design. It's really one of my favorites. I love how thick it is. And I will link that in the description box below as well. I used a 24 millimeter safety nose for the video, but you can also use a 21 millimeter. I have two six millimeter safety eyes. Grab a few stitch markers, some pins for assembly some polyfill stuffing, and then you'll also need some scissors that I forgot to picture here. To prepare your eye patch and muzzle, grab your template cutouts and some material. I'm using felt here for both, but feel free to use some different material for the eye patch or for the muzzle, it's totally up to you. Lay your piece on top and cut around the piece. You can trace this if you'd like, but it doesn't have to be perfect, so cutting seems to work just fine. After the piece is cut out, we need to place our six millimeter safety eye. I just grab a pin and poke a hole in the middle of the white dot. Once I make that hole, I just find it, place my scissors, and make a tiny slit just so that my safety eye can fit through. Once you have your safety eye in, do not place the backing on, just place it to the side. We're gonna do the same thing for the muzzle.
For the nose, I will place the pin down the center of the white triangle, and then I do the same exact thing with the slits. I just make about four slits since the end of the safety nose is a lot bigger than the safety eye. Place your safety nose in the hole. Do not put on the backing just yet. Put this aside and we'll work on the head next. We're going to get started with the head. Since this is a beginner video, we're going to go a bit slower in the beginning. Feel free to make a magic circle however you'd like. I'll also link a few tutorials down below, or we can just make one together. For round one, we're going to make six single crochet into a magic circle, but here we're going to start with the slip knot. Leaving a long tail, we're going to wrap the yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing at the top. I'm going to hold that tail with my ring finger, and I'm going to push that back piece to the front. I'm going to pull up on that piece, and this will make our slip knot. We can use our tail to adjust our loop. We're going to insert our hook inside the loop, get set up with our yarn, and then we're going to chain two. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, and pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook. We're going to single crochet six times into that second stitch. So place your hook underneath that stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through again. That's your first single crochet. We're going to insert our hook again. Yarn over, pull through. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through. That's our second single crochet. So now we're going to make our third Our fourth, fifth, and sixth. We're going to tighten up this middle by just pulling on our tail, pulling tight, and then we're going to grab a stitch marker. You can place your stitch marker on the last stitch of the round, that's what I do, or you can place it on the first stitch of the next round. Do whatever you're most comfortable with. Here we're going to count our stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this little bit here is just the start of our slip knot, so don't get confused when you're crocheting. We'll want to go underneath that first stitch. For round two, we're going to increase in each stitch around. So we're going to go underneath both loops of this first stitch. An increase just means to single crochet two times in the same stitch. Here we'll be making our first single crochet, and then we'll go through that same stitch and make another single crochet. That is our first increase. We're going to move over a stitch and make another increase, so make two single crochet. Moving over, we'll do our third increase. Move over another stitch. This will be our fourth increase. We'll do our fifth increase. And then our sixth increase. This will be in the stitch with our stitch marker if you've placed it on the last stitch of the round. Okay, from here, we're going to change our stitch marker. Then I like to close up this hole once again so you can just pull tight. For round three, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next. We'll be doing this six times total. So here is our first increase. Move over and make one single crochet. Here's our second increase. Then make one single crochet. Our third increase. And then pick out some fuzz in your yarn that always finds its way. A single crochet in the next stitch. Here is our fourth increase. 
single crochet in the next stitch. Here is our fifth increase. Then move over for a single crochet. And here's our sixth and our last increase. And then end with a single crochet. You'll have 18 stitches total. You may want to count with each round if you're just starting out and make sure you have 18 stitches. We're going to change our stitch marker. For round four, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two. And we'll do this six times. Here is our first increase. Then move over, we have single crochet one, single crochet two. Here is our second increase. Single crochet one, single crochet two. Then we're gonna move over and we have our third increase. single crochet one, single crochet two, our fourth increase, single crochet one, single crochet two, here's our fifth increase, single crochet one, single crochet two, and then here's our sixth and final increase. End with two single crochet. You should have 24 stitches on this round. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. Quickly here, we're just gonna count our rounds. This first one is round one, then we have round two, round three, round four, and round five. Just in case you lose your spot, you can go ahead and count your rounds. For round five, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three. So here is our first increase. Single crochet one, two, and three. We have our second increase. single crochet in the next three. Our third increase. Single crochet in the next three. Our fourth increase. single crochet in the next three. Our fifth increase. Single crochet in the next three. And then our sixth increase here. That's our last increase, and then you'll single crochet in your last three stitches. At this point, you should have 30 stitches. You can go ahead and change your stitch marker. And then for round six, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four. Increase one. Then we'll single crochet one, two, three, and four. Here's our second increase. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Increase three. single crochet in the next four. Increase four. 
single crochet in the next four. Increase five. Single crochet in the next four. And then increase six. End with single crochet in the last four stitches. You will have 36 stitches at this point. You can change your stitch marker. For round seven, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next five stitches. So we're just gonna continue increasing and single crocheting. So here's increase one. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next five. Here is one, single crochet two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna make our second increase single crochet in the next five stitches increase three single crochet in the next five stitches Increase four, single crochet in the next five, increase five, single crochet in the next five stitches. Then here's your sixth and final increase. Single crochet in the last five stitches. You should have 42 stitches at this point. You can change your stitch marker. We're gonna do a quick round check here. We have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll be working on round eight. For round eight, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next six stitches. We'll be doing this six times around. So here is increase one. We're gonna single crochet in the next six. Here is one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then here's increase two, single crochet in the next six stitches, We have increase three. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Increase four. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Increase five. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Then 
Then we have increase six, our last increase, and then single crochet in the last six stitches. You'll have 48 stitches at this point, and you can go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round nine, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next seven stitches. We'll be doing this six times around. Here is increase one. We'll single crochet in the next seven. This is single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We have increased two, and then single crochet in the next seven. Increase three. Single crochet in the next seven stitches. Increase four. Single crochet in the next seven. Increase five. Single crochet in the next seven. Increase six. And end with single crochet in the next seven. At this point, you'll have 54 stitches. You can go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round 10, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next eight stitches, and we'll be doing this six times around. Increase one. We'll single crochet in the next eight stitches. Single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna increase two and then single crochet in the next eight. I'm gonna let you guys count from here on out. You can increase and then single crochet in the next eight and we'll meet at the end.
At the end of round 10, you'll have 60 stitches. We're gonna change our stitch marker. For round 11, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next nine, and we'll be doing this six times around. Go ahead and make your increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next nine stitches, and repeat that for six times total. Okay, we're at the end of round 11. You should have 66 stitches. Now we are going to start some single crochet rounds, so make sure that you count and that you have 66. I'm just gonna double check my rounds here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and then we'll be starting on round 12. Round 12 through 17 are going to be all single crochet stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little trick that I like to use with a stitch marker for counting, and then we will meet back at the end of round 17. In order to not have to count every round from the beginning, I'm gonna show you here my little trick. We're just gonna start out with a few stitches of round 12. So just doing a few single crochets. I'm gonna grab another stitch marker, and I'm gonna place it horizontally on one of the rounds on round 12. So this is my second stitch. I'm just gonna place the stitch marker in this stitch. And that way I know that this is marked round 12. And you can either jot that down or just remember when you continue counting, this will be a lifesaver. So I'm just gonna continue all the way around for round 12 and then I'll show you how it looks when we hit round 13. I just want to say thank you guys for joining me on this crochet along. I really appreciate it. If you're a beginner, let me know how you like the video. I know there's a lot of counting and a lot of crocheting, but I thought it would be fun to just crochet along with you. This is how I learned. I'm a very visual learner, so if this helps in any way, I 
I would be so happy. <laughs> Let me know what color combinations you guys have used on your domino. I really love seeing the different colors. I kind of always go with the gray and the blue, even though there's no dog in the world that has blue ears. It just, I don't know, I just love the color combo. So let me know what you guys have chosen in the description box below. If you're just starting out as a beginner, I have a few tutorials um, on beginner stitches like the invisible decrease and a few different magic circle videos that you could try to see if one of them kind of sticks with you. I know magic circles are definitely a personal preference so check out all of them and see which one works and if the chain two is just easy for you like the one that we did in the beginning then just go with that one because it works perfectly fine. So we're just chugging along here single crocheting all the way around. With this guy he's a bit bigger than my most recent design so take many breaks and stretch your hands because you will need it. I had to do this guy over two days because I couldn't do the whole video in one go. <laughs> I was hurting. If there's anything that you'd like to see that you are wondering about as a beginner or just amigurumi questions in general just uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer the best I can and I'll even try to do a tutorial if it's something that I can explain better on video. Okay, so we're reaching the last stitch of round 12. I'm just gonna change my stitch marker and then I'm gonna do a few stitches of round 13. So I'm gonna go past my stitch marker just to show you guys how easy this will be so you don't have to count from the beginning because that can be quite a pain. So if you see here, I marked my round 12. So this is really easy to see. So as I move forward, I have 12, 13, and then I'll go on to 14, 15, 16, and then we will meet back at the end of round 17. So continue to single crochet around. So we're doing the last few stitches of round 17. And we should still have our 66 stitches. We're gonna change our stitch marker for round 18, we are going to change things up with a decrease. So what I like to do is an invisible decrease and I'll go slow here just to give you, um, just to show you how that goes. I'll also put a video up if you want it to go a little slower. So we are going to be making one decrease and then we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. So we'll be using up these first two stitches for the decrease and then we'll continue on with our single crochets. To make an invisible decrease, you're gonna take your hook, you're gonna go under the front loop of the first stitch, then you're gonna go directly underneath the front loop of the second stitch. You're gonna yarn over and pull through. You're gonna have two loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through, and that's your invisible decrease. From here, we're gonna single crochet in the next nine stitches. Make sure that your yarn is against your hook. If it's too loose, you'll start to make holes in your work, but if you have it up to your hook, you should be all good. Here we're gonna do a single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. We're gonna do another invisible decrease so we're gonna go underneath the front loop of the first stitch then the front loop of the second stitch. We're gonna yarn over pull through, yarn over and pull through. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next nine
Then we're going to make our third decrease, go underneath the front loop, go underneath the second front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Single crochet in the next nine stitches. Make another decrease by going under the front loop, under the second front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Make nine single crochet. Make your fifth decrease, single crochet in the next nine stitches, And then we'll make our last decrease. End with single crochet in your last nine stitches. At this point, you'll have 60 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round 19, we're going to single crochet in the next 60 stitches. Okay, at this point, you're probably wondering either what you got yourself into by round 19 or you're thinking about snacks like I am. <laughs> you'll have to let me know your favorite. Uh, crochet snacks. Mine right now is pretzels because it's just kind of like the easiest and not so messy. Um, but I really love to snack on like chocolatey things when I'm crocheting, which just doesn't work, especially when you're working with cream yarn. So you have to give me some suggestions uh, down below. And if you are wondering what you got yourself into at this point, please don't worry because by the time you're done and you have this guide put together, you will feel A, so accomplished, and B, he's just so cute. You'll be so happy that you put in all the work. We're reaching the end of round 19. You should still have 60 stitches. We're going to change our stitch marker. In round 20, we're going to make one decrease, single crochet in the next eight stitches, and we'll be doing this six times around. So we'll be doing that same invisible decrease that we did for round 18. 
So we're going to do our first decrease. single crochet in the next eight stitches and then we're going to continue the pattern six times around make one decrease single crochet in the next eight stitches We're reaching the end of round 20. At this point, you will have 54 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round 21, we are going to single crochet in the next 54 stitches. So go ahead and make your single crochets all the way around, and we will meet back at the end of round 21. At this point, you should still have 54 stitches. For round 22, we are going to make one decrease single crochet in the next seven stitches we'll be doing this six times around here we have our first decrease then we'll single crochet in the next seven stitches Here is our second decrease. Single crochet in the next seven stitches and repeat this till the end of the round.
At this point, you will have 48 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round 23, we are gonna single crochet in the next 48 stitches. Then we will meet back at the end of round 23. We're reaching the end of round 23. You still have 48 stitches. From here, you'll wanna change your stitch marker. Give yourself some slack on your working yarn and then secure it with another stitch marker because we're gonna be switching gears and put, placing our eye in our muzzle. Grab the eye patch and the muzzle that you have prepared from earlier. We are going to place our eyes between round 15 and 16, leaving five stitches in between the eyes open. I personally like to notice where my decreases are and you can see here, you can kind of tell where the stitches are being brought together. So I like to place my eyes and nose in between those decreases. So we are gonna count to find round 15 and 16. Go ahead and find that on your own. I like to use a pin to count with and also to keep place when I find round 15 and 16. So once you've found your spot, place your pin. We are going to leave five stitches open. So I'd like to plan that out with my pins before I start to place my eyes. So I'm gonna grab another pin and I'm gonna place it leaving two stitches open next to my pin. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So now I have my eye placement and they're right in between my decreases. So I'm happy with how this looks. At this point, you can grab that eye patch and we are going to place the eye patch on the left side of the face when the face is facing you. <laughs> it's a lot of faces. So go ahead and insert that eye and then remove your other pin and then place your other eye. And if this looks good to you, we're just gonna put the backings on and move on to the nose. Since these are six millimeter safety eyes, they are a bit tedious to get on. I do suggest grabbing a little piece of your fabric or maybe part of your sleeve to hold down the other side of the eye when you're closing it. It really just jabs right into your finger. So if you have something to help, it makes it a lot easier. Wiggle that plastic piece on the back and then do the same thing for your next safety eye. Once you have your safety eyes attached, go ahead and grab an embroidery floss, whatever color you want for the outside of the patch and a needle. I leave a really long piece of embroidery floss and then I insert it into my embroidery needle and I knot the end a few times. To start with the eye patch, we want to secure this embroidery floss on the inside of the head. So what we're going to do is insert our needle underneath a stitch on the inside of the head. Pull your needle all the way through until you reach your knot. And then you're going to place your needle underneath either the same piece of yarn or a different piece of yarn. It really doesn't matter. Pull it all the way through until you have a loop. You'll want to go slow at this point. And you'll take your needle and go behind that loop. Go ahead and pull it all the way through and this makes a knot and it secures a knot on the inside of your head. I like to make two just for double safety, so I'm just going to do that here. And then we can start to embroider around this eye patch. I like to start from the bottom. If your eye patch is going past your yarn, you can go ahead and crochet another round or you can just cut your eye patch, but we do end up being pretty close to the bottom here. So I'm going to go up through a stitch of the head and the patch, and then I'm going to go down. I leave about the size of a grain of rice, and then I go down into the patch. And all we're going to do is continue to go up and down through the eye patch. It can take a little bit of time only because you're trying to feel where the eye patch is under your yarn so just take your time and um, take a nice break from crochet
Once I get to the top, I take a little break and I add a tiny little bit of stuffing. I like to use the back of my crochet hook or a pair of really sharp scissors. Just be careful when you do that. I add a little bit of stuffing, but I don't put a lot on the bottom of the eye patch only because our muzzle has to go there. And if it's really puffy, it gets hard to attach your muzzle. So as you'll see here, there's not a ton of stuffing, but it's enough to make it look like it has a little bit of dimension. So as you stuff, continue going around your eye patch and then stuffing a little more as you see fit. Here we're getting towards the end of our eye patch. I'm probably gonna add about one more stitch here. And if things get a little wonky at the end, like being too short of a stitch, don't worry because the muzzle is gonna go right over that. Now I wanna secure my embroidery floss. I'm gonna go back on the inside of the head, grab a piece of yarn. I'm gonna put my needle behind that loop, pull it through and make a knot. Once you have your eye patch done, we are going to find round 17 and 18. And because I know that my eyes are between round 15 and 16, I'm just gonna count down to round 17 and 18. And then I'm gonna find a stitch right in the middle. So for me, it's about right here. I'm gonna place my safety nose. Now the end of the safety nose is really big, so you really have to work it in there. And don't be afraid. <laughs> to really get the back of the safety nose into that stitch. You wanna get it in the right spot because it does stretch out your yarn quite a bit. So maybe place a pin in there just to make sure that you like that spot. Okay, so I placed my safety nose in here. I'm noticing that my muzzle is a little bit too high because it's going right above my eye. So what I'm gonna do is take this out Okay, now what I'm gonna do is make the slit into the muzzle, but I'm gonna make it a tad bit higher so I can move up my safety nose. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot that up. So that's maybe about a half an inch. And I'm gonna place my nose back in the same spot. And now that looks better because now it's not covering my eye anymore. Once you get your safety nose straight, you can go ahead and grab the backing and place that on. You just want to hold your nose straight while you do it. Now that our eyes and our nose are placed, we're going to start back with round 24. So go ahead and take out your extra stitch marker. We're going to get set up with our yarn and we're going to start on round 24. For round 24, we're going to do a decrease single crochet in the next six stitches and we'll do this six times around we are going to make our first decrease single crochet in the next six this is one two three four five and six here is our second decrease single crochet in the next six stitches here is our third decrease and then single crochet in your next six stitches go ahead and just move that muzzle out of the way while we crochet Sometimes I even pin it back because it does get a little bit annoying. Here is our fourth decrease. Single crochet in the next six stitches.
our fifth decrease. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Here's our sixth decrease and we will end with six single crochet. At this point you should have 42 stitches. Change your stitch marker. For round 25 we are going to make one decrease single crochet in the next five stitches. Here is decrease one, single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna decrease single crochet in the next five. So go ahead and repeat this all the way around. At this point you should have 36 stitches. We're going to change our stitch marker and then we're going to grab another stitch marker just to put on our working yarn because we're going to start to stuff the head. So we still have our muzzle flapping in the wind. Um, just leave that be for now and grab a handful of polyfill stuffing. I like to grab a pretty big handful at first and then I make like this little bit of a hole in the middle. So when I add more later, I just add it to that middle hole. You don't wanna to add too much stuffing because you don't wanna create holes while you're crocheting. So make sure that you can pretty much close the head still with your hands. You don't want it to be too taut. We're gonna continue crocheting. So you go ahead and take out that extra stitch marker. For round 26, we are gonna decrease in the first stitch single crochet in the next four. Here is our first decrease. It takes a minute to get readjusted with the stuffing in. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. Here's single crochet one, two, oops, things are slipping and sliding over here. single crochet three and four. I'm gonna make my second decrease. And then single crochet in the next four stitches. Repeat this all the way around.
We'll be ending this round with 30 stitches. You can go ahead and change your stitch marker. For round 27, we are gonna do a decrease single crochet in the next three stitches. Here is our first decrease. Single crochet in the next three. And then make another decrease. Single crochet in the next three stitches. And go ahead and continue this pattern all the way to the end. We will end with 24 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker. I'm gonna add a little bit more stuffing, so I'm gonna put on my other stitch marker to make sure I don't lose my spot. And I'm just gonna grab some stuffing and place it down into the middle of this hole that I made. I wanna make sure that his head is smooth, so I continue to kind of just peek and make sure that nothing's looking lumpy as I go along. I can still smush this shut, so I'm gonna continue on and then I can stuff a little bit more later. We're gonna continue with round 28, which is a decrease single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're almost done here, guys. We only have three rounds to go. So make one decrease single crochet in the next two, and we'll do that for six times total. At the end of this round, we'll have 18 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round 29, we are going to decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next. You can stuff a little bit more at this point, but I'm gonna hold off till my next round. So here is our first decrease, 
single crochet in the next stitch then make another decrease single crochet in the next and repeat this all the way to the end At the end of the round, you should have 12 stitches. We're gonna change our stitch marker and this is our last chance to stuff. So I am gonna secure my working yarn and just grab some stuffing and then fill up the rest of the head until I am happy. Okay, do a lot of smushing and readjusting at this point, but I feel like the head is firm, but it's still soft and there's no lumps. So I'm going to continue on closing up the head. For round 30, we are gonna decrease all the way around. So we'll be doing this six times. Here is our first decrease. Our second, our third, fourth, fifth. and sixth. From here, we are gonna leave a really long piece of yarn and just go ahead and cut off the end. We're gonna fasten off our piece, so just take your yarn, yarn over and pull it all the way through. You can tighten it at the end. Take out your stitch marker and then grab your yarn needle we are gonna close the head. You can weave the end of your yarn into your needle. And then we are gonna look for our, our last six stitches. I'm gonna count backwards because I can see it a bit better. This is my fastened off bit here. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sometimes our first stitch can look a little hidden. What I like to do is place my yarn needle behind the front loop so it's right down the middle of that stitch and pull it all the way through. I turn the piece as I go so the piece is right in, the stitch is right in front of me. So now I'm going to go behind the front loop of the second stitch, pull through, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Then what I'm gonna do is take my two fingers and I'm gonna pull this closed, but I wanna keep an eye on this hole right here because I need to insert my needle back into that hole. So close it up, watching where that hole was, and then insert your needle back into that hole. Once you place your needle there, it'll open up a little bit, and then you can weave your needle through your head and pull really tight. Then you can kind of smooth it back and it is a nice close for your head. So now you wanna weave your yarn back and forth through your head and then we are finished. Whew, that was a lot of work, but we did it. <laughs> 
At this point, you have your muzzle still loose. If you know that you aren't gonna finish the pattern in one day and you're gonna let the, the head dry for a night, then you can totally go ahead and glue on the muzzle. So I'm just taking my tacky glue and I'm placing a little bit of glue back and forth on the muzzle. I don't go right up to the edge because when I adhere the muzzle to the head, the glue kind of comes out. So give yourself a little bit of room and just hold that down as you glue it to the face. I like to hold the muzzle with my hands for a few minutes just to keep it in the right spot and then put this aside, leave it for at least a night is what I like to do to make sure that it's totally dry before we try to assemble with it. And if you think you're going to get the whole dog done in one day, then just wait till after assembly and then glue it so that it can just sit without being touched. We're gonna get right into the ear by making five single crochet into a magic circle. And if you'd like to do it my way, we can make a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around two fingers, pushing that back piece to the front and pulling up to make a slip knot. Then you can insert your hook, chain two, and then make five single crochet into that second stitch from the hook. So we have single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna tighten that middle loop. I'm gonna place a stitch marker on my last stitch of the round Feel free to place it where you'd like. And then for round two, we're gonna increase in each stitch around. Remember that one little bit there is your slip knot, so make sure to go underneath your actual stitch. And we'll be making two single crochet into the same stitch to make an increase. Here's increase one. We're moving over to our next stitch to make increase two. increase three, increase four, and increase five. You should be ending with 10 stitches on this round. Change your stitch marker and then go ahead and tighten up that middle circle one more time. For round three, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next. Here is increase one, single crochet, increase two, single crochet, increase three, single crochet, increase four, single crochet, and then here is our fifth increase, our last increase, and then single crochet into your last stitch. You should end up with 15 stitches. We're gonna change our stitch marker for round four, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet into the next two stitches. Increase one, single crochet one, and single crochet two. And then here is our second increase. Single crochet one, and two. And then go ahead and continue doing your increase single crochet in the next two stitches all the way to the end.
At the end of this round, you should have 20 stitches. Moving on to round five, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three. So this is increase one, single crochet one, two, and three. Then we have our second increase. single crochet in the next three our third increase single crochet in the next three and then repeat this pattern At this point, you should have 25 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round six, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet into the next four stitches. Increase one. Single crochet in the next four. Increase two. single crochet in the next four stitches. Increase three. Single crochet in the next four stitches and then repeat this pattern. You'll have 30 stitches. Change your stitch marker. For round seven, we are gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next five stitches. We'll be doing this five times around, so make your first increase. Single crochet in the next five stitches. Increase two. Single crochet in the next five, and then repeat this pattern till the end. At this point, you will have 35 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round eight, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next six. This is our last increase round. 
So we'll increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next six stitches, Here is our second increase, single crochet in the next six, and continue this pattern until the end. Here you'll have 40 stitches. For round nine through 11, we're gonna single crochet in the next 40 stitches, so make sure that you have the right amount and continue on from now round nine through 11 and we'll meet back at the end of round 11. I'm finishing up my last few stitches of round 11. We still have 40 stitches. Go ahead and change your stitch marker and for round 12, we are gonna make one decrease single crochet in the next six stitches and we'll be doing that five times around so this is where we're going to start to bring things back in here is our first decrease single crochet in the next six stitches two three four five and six then we have our second decrease. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Here is our third decrease and then single crochet in the next six stitches and repeat this till the end. You will have 35 stitches at this point. You can change your stitch marker. For round 13, we're gonna make one decrease, single crochet in the next five stitches. Here's decrease one. Single crochet in the next five stitches. Decrease two, single crochet in the next five, decrease three, single crochet in the next five, and repeat this pattern till the end.
Now we will have 30 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. Round 14, we are gonna decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four stitches. Decrease one, single crochet in the next four, Decrease two, single crochet in the next four, and then repeat this pattern until the end. Now we'll have 25 stitches. We will continue on to round 15, which is decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three stitches. Decrease one, single crochet one, two, and three. Decrease two, one, two, and three, make your third decrease, single crochet in the next three, and then repeat this until the end. We will have 20 stitches at this point. For round 16, we're gonna decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. We'll be doing this five times around. Decrease one, single crochet one, and two, decrease two, single crochet one, and two, and then repeat this pattern until the end. At the end of this round, you should have 15 stitches. From round 17 through 22, we are going to single crochet around 15 stitches. So make sure that you have the right amount of stitches and then we will meet back at the end of round 22. Here, I'm finishing up my last few stitches around 22. We don't need any stuffing for this guy, so we're just gonna fasten off. Go ahead and leave a really long tail you can take out your stitch marker. We're gonna fasten off by yarning over and pulling all the way through. And you can either we close this guy shut or you can just tuck in this piece of yarn and close it when you're doing your um, assembly. What I like to do is tuck in this piece that's sticking out so you can just go in that next stitch over and just tuck that in. If you wanted to close this guy shut, you would just flatten this piece. It just kind of looks like somewhat of a dog ear. 
and then you can close it by going through both stitches so you'll have four loops pulling all the way through and then going up back and forth up through the stitches I personally like to close my pieces shut for some reason it just makes assembly a lot easier for me but you do not have to do this So at this point, we're going to make one more ear so you can stop the video and go back to the beginning of this ear and make one more. And then after that, we will move on to the body. For the body, we're gonna grab our first color. We're gonna make six single crochet into a magic circle. So here, I'm just making my slip knot once again. I'm gonna push that back piece to the front and then tighten up my loop. I'm going to insert my hook in chain two. And then in that second stitch from the hook, we're going to single crochet six times into that same stitch. Here's single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to tighten up that middle hole and then grab a stitch marker for my last stitch of the round. For round two, we're going to increase six times around. So we're going to increase at each stitch. Remember that first bit is your slip knot. You're going to go underneath both loops of that first stitch. Here is single crochet one going into the same stitch, single crochet two, and that is your first increase. Here, we're gonna make our second increase. Here is increase three. Increase four. Increase five. and increase six. At this point, you'll have 12 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. Tighten up that middle loop once again. And for round three, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. We'll be doing this six times around. So we have increase one, single crochet one, increase two, single crochet one, increase three, single crochet one, increase four, single crochet one, increase five, single crochet one, and then your sixth increase, your last one, and then single crochet one. You will have 18 stitches. Change your stitch marker. For round four, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet into the next two. Here is increase one, single crochet in the next two, increase two, single crochet in the next two, increase three, single crochet in the next two, increase four, single crochet in the next two, increase five, single crochet in the next two, and then increase six, end with your two single crochet. 
you will have 24 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round five, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three stitches. So here is increase one, single crochet in the next three stitches, increase two, single crochet in the next three stitches, and then continue the pattern of increasing single crocheting in the next three until you get to the end. You will have 30 stitches. For round six, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four stitches. Increase one, one, two, three, and four. And then go ahead and do an increase, single crochet in the next four until you reach the end. You will have 36 stitches. For round seven and eight, we are just gonna single crochet around 36 stitches. So go ahead and do that and we will meet back at the end of round eight. I'm reaching the last few stitches of round eight. We should still have 36 stitches. For round nine, we are going to decrease in the first stitch, single crochet into the next four. Here is our first decrease. single crochet one, two, three, and four, decrease two, one, two, three, and four, and then you can decrease and then make four single crochet until you reach the end.
we will have 30 stitches at this point. For round 10 through 12, we want to single crochet around 30 stitches. So we'll go ahead and do that round 10 through 12 and we'll meet back at the end of round 12. I'm reaching my last few stitches of round 12. We should still have 30 stitches at this point. Change your stitch marker. For round 13, we are going to decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three. We'll be doing this six times around, so here is our first decrease single crochet one, two, and three. Here is decrease two, single crochet one, two, and three, and then repeat this pattern until the end of the round. You will have 24 stitches here. You can change your stitch marker. For round 14 and 15, we are gonna single crochet in the next 24 stitches. So go ahead and do that, and we will meet back at the end of round 15. Reaching the last two stitches around 15, we still have 24 stitches. Our last round is round 16, and we are going to decrease in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two. Here is decrease one. single crochet one and two, decrease two, single crochet one and two, and then continue doing your decrease single crochet in the next two until the end of the round. At the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. We're gonna take out our stitch marker, leave a very long tail for assembly, give that a snip, and then I'm going to fasten off by yarning over and pulling through. And at this point, we need to stuff our body. It's not the biggest hole ever, but we'll get our stuffing in there. So I, add, I like to add enough stuffing just to make the body firm because he is going to be holding up our head. And my heads tend to be bigger than my body, so we need to make sure that he can do his job. Okay guys, so we made our face with our muzzle and our eye patch. We made both ears and our body together, and that is the end of part one of Domino, and part two will be coming next week, so go ahead and look out for that, and that will be our feet and our tail and our assembly. So good luck. Let me know if you have any issues or what color combos you're doing or anything at all. I am here, and I will see you all next week so we can continue our little friend. In the meantime, if you are finished and you want to start another new little friend, check out my crochet alongs on my YouTube channel or on my tutorial page on yarnsociety.com.